EY Center, right? Yes, we have arrived at the EY Center for the Ottawa RV Show, the yeah, annual I, I Ottawa RV Show. I shouldn't face the sun. I cannot bear. I can barely open my eyes. Anyway, uh, Ottawa UI Center, Ottawa RV Show, RV. We're going in. Yes. Gonna check I don't, it out. Why are we here? Why are we here? I don't really know. I just feel excited because it's RV show. I feel like spring is coming, I, and I need. I need. I don't know. I feel like I need gadgets. What kind of gadgets? I don't know. Yeah, I'm here just to look at the RVs. <laughs> oh, and there's a new Airstream coming. Yeah, I want to see. Uh, who besides Airstream? Who's starting to get their interiors a little modernized? Stop mm. look like a, a clapboard cottage. So I'm interested <laughs> to see that. Who I would like to see? You know, some people love those. Eh? Yeah, too bad they I don't have taste. Um, <laughs> so are they modernizing the interiors to look a little bit more like nice uh, mm. instead of awful? Um, we feel like Airstream is, they did great at that, but other people are catching up. So we want to see, hopefully that trend is going, push everything forward. Mm. Uh, gadgets, always nice to see because we steal the ideas and DIY them. Uh, most of them aren't worth the money, but sometimes the ideas are really good. Uh, Andy's presentation, we want to double check, double down on that and see, you know, now that we're in the situation of towing, our uh, 27 foot Airstream with the minivan, I'm going to say that just to aggravate people who that freaks out. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, safely, uh, I want to go back to his presentation and, and check it out again and just see what's the new perspective <laughs> on that. That's at 2.30. Super excited to see that. In fact, he's giving it now. Hopefully some of you are already there. Anything think, else we're here for? I think I agitated him. Now he's going to transfer that agitation to you guys. So. Sorry about that. Yeah, anyway, sorry. on the way My here, bad. we spotted a Cooper and a red tail mm. hawk. Yep. Yay! Let's get in there. One of the things that I used was this for the black tank that I found was really, really good. And actually, we did a little experiment, right? It can last about two weeks is the limit. We tested how long it lasts. The first week was absolutely no smell. Then I can push that to the second week, but that's the limit. Mm. But I found it was really functional, like really good. And I'm interested in this one for the next is for the water tank. Yeah, just because to go we're... back to this though, because I, okay, okay. I do the emptying. And okay. on the empty, what we see is everything is liquefied. Uh, so and we don't buy that super expensive RV toilet paper and it's no problem. No clogs, yeah. no nothing. It just liquefies everything. Right. And like you said, two weeks too long. I have my eyes on this for the water tank and this for bugs, as I hate bugs all the time. Here's some super cute little clock. I don't think I can tell time from it, but this is super cute. We've been looking for a mini clock to hang on the wall. Um, got a GPS, look, it's so what's the time? 9.25. I guess I can tell. This is another thing that caught my eye because it's for drying clothes. We have the issue of finding space in the RV to dry towels. So I think this is a little bit too big for ours. So I'm not uh, a good idea. I think I will keep looking though. What did they do with glass? It's a patio? two two story with a glass door patio. Glass door is everything. Oh that's smart. That looks so good. Holy jeez. Now we see the latest uh, um, Airstream trade wind. I only saw that uh, from videos. The first thing I noticed is the rivets on the top, like where the aluminum sheet is slightly different. I've never used our awning. Every time we take it out, we're like, oh, it's a little bit too windy. Let's put it in. This picture looks good. Hope one day we can try this out. This is the... the uh, I think it's locked. Is it locked? I cannot open it. Oh, there's a latch. Oh. Oh, no wonder. So, it's very secure. And I guess the battery's disconnected or there's no light in here? There's no light. Only Globetrotter has a light. Yeah, early times I really feel like why I want this bed. Now I understand you want to see the view. Otherwise, my head facing the view. 
Did you realize that? This, you will lay there and see a good chunk of the view, mm -hmm. like here. Yeah. But yeah, our bed is this way. Late. Yeah, our real. We didn't like this initially. Exactly. I was really reason. yes, I was really firm that I didn't like. I wouldn't like that and blah blah blah. Till when I was in it, realized I was being silly. Barn. I love their kitchen, really modernized. Oh yeah, that faucet, that sink. Well, oh, no, on the other hand, the feeling I've, of the faucet is like not though, really the no, fitting of the faucet. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, no, no. It looks pretty. Like I like the matte black, like you right? said, to give it a bit more accent. Yeah, I love the sink with the stainless edge here. Yeah, yeah. But uh, wow. No. Well, what I don't like is over here. If like how I cook and stuff, Chinese food, that's a disaster. So, so lots of cleaning. Yeah. yeah, it just doesn't Did you work on us. The window of the kitchen sink is it's much wider, wider than, than really ours. Pretty, really yeah, nice. this is really pretty. Is this a waterproof fabric? I don't know. For me, it's like a drop of a tea or coffee. Uh, I don't want to mm -hmm. clean that. Yeah. And this? A little bit extra clean job for me to do. I don't know. I clean my own thing and uh, I'm a really, you know, you probably figure out I'm very functional first. So a little bit. Fa fabrics, I really don't like fabric. Fabric means all the dust are going to stick to it and extra vacuum. <laughs> And Phil was talking about this. Like for me, no, I'm gonna cover this table. Too much cleaning. I'm sitting here and wait. I thought that was really fun back in there. Uh, so I was looking for mugs, coffee mugs. <laughs> they have some, but not enough selection. And they're all giant. Giant, yeah, it's not Super our giant. style. So. I was expecting a little bit more gadgets. They have some booths that have those the fun things I love to look at, but it's um, it's a small portion. But overall, it's super fun, full of uh, trailers, and we step in Blinky, Blinkly. I don't know the name. I forgot the Brinkley, name. Brinkley, I think. Brinkley. Okay. I can't remember. That sounds better than my name. Um, it's huge. Jesus, it's huge. It looks so good. I have to say. Forty-one feet. Huh? Was, 41 feet? I think it was a 41 footer. Yeah. The main back area had double pop out. So literally in the back, you've got an island with a huge square sink, at least 18 inches wide, at least. Gigantic. Uh -huh. It was gigantic. I had a spot for a dryer. Uh, I don't know, it was like a four bedroom apartment. Mini walking closet? Yeah, a walking right. closet that I could stand up in. Like it was giant. I just can't imagine. Back in a little slot or something. Oh my god! I just yeah, just to think about that. I'm spot. like, a, no. oh, no. fifth it's wheel, obviously. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's huge. And, but you know what? The 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 counter, the cabinetry. I didn't wasn't big on the cabinetry. The, right. It just didn't appeal to me. But the surfaces were really nice. Mm -hmm. The sink, the fixtures were okay. Um, yeah. You know, it was pretty nice. It was pretty nice. It had a fireplace and a, a pop-up big screen TV. Yeah, whatever. Some people love that. Right? <laughs> Take it or leave it. Um, storage, no problem with storage. It had like a... It's so really fancy. What I noticed is, uh, okay, I have to say this. Old times I step in other trailers and step in Airstream, I'm like, oh, that's so different right away. Yeah. This time I didn't feel that, and some of the lines that Airstream has, I step in, and I was like, oh, you know. Yeah, the gap is closing. It's really like. Um, you gotta stay sharp, Airstream. Stay sharp. 